Do you want to know how to read music, or at least rhythms? Maybe your rhythm reading isn't all that good, or maybe you're scared of it because you think it's too hard. Well, this video is for you. Let's get into it. All right, everybody, new room, board with lines on it. Here, here is where we go with basic rhythmic reading. Some people find this hard. It's really not that hard. I'm going to try to break it down and, and make it as simple as possible. And I think you're going to see when we're done with this how simple it actually is. Now, we're just talking about reading rhythms. We're not talking about reading notes. If you were playing a piano, guitar, trumpet, whatever, we're not talking about specific notes, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. We are just talking about reading rhythms. We're talking about note values, whole notes, half notes, quarter notes, eighth notes, things like that. So there are a few basic things that we need to get out of the way. And one is called the time signature. Another is called what is a measure. Another is what are the note durations. Once we get all that together, then we can start reading and we can start seeing how it works. Everything I'm going to do for this and in, in upcoming videos, I'm going to try to do more of these and make it a little more advanced. But today it's going to be very basic. We're going to do everything in what's known as 4-4 time. Most Western music, most, I would argue, is in 4-4 time, 4 beats to what is known as a measure. So, let's get into this. Time signature. Time signature is written like this. Time signature would be a 4 over a 4. Okay? 4 over 4. What does this tell us? This tells us the top four, that each four means something. The top four is how many. How many beats in a measure. How many beats in a measure? Four. It's that simple. Four beats in a measure. Bottom four is telling us what kind of note what kind of note duration gets that beat? What kind of note gets the beat? And in this instance, since it's a four, that means it's a quarter note. If it was a two on the bottom, it would be a half note. If it's an eight on the bottom, it would be an eighth note. But in this instance, it's a quarter note because it's a four. Top note, top number, <laughs> how many beats in a measure? Four. Bottom number, what kind of note, what kind of note duration gets the beat? The quarter note because it's a four. All right, I'm going to erase a little bit of this. If you need to see more of it, just pause the video. <laughs> Okay, so, next, now that we know what the time signature is, I'm gonna, I'll actually mark it, time signature. Next, we need to know what a measure is. A measure is where we break up the music into readable chunks, can I say that? So a measure is, is music that sits between what is known as bar lines. A bar line looks like this. That's a bar line. That's another bar line. That's another bar line. So in between each bar line is a measure. Bar line, measure. The bar line separates the measures. Okay. Now, how do we get music into there? Well, now we need to know what note durations are. 
what is a note duration? So right here, I'm going to write a couple of note durations out. Think of it like a pie. Think of it like a pizza. If you have a whole round pizza, okay, that's a whole pizza. A whole pizza. Now, if we cut that in half, we get two halves. Then we get a half note. By the way, that is what is known as a whole note. Whole note, half note. If we divide a half up, what do we get? We get a quarter. Quarter note. If we go one more, we get an eighth note. Okay, so right now, we have a whole note, we have a half note, we have a quarter note. Eighth note would, eighth note would look like this. Uh, I'm going to draw it right here, okay? An eighth note is a solid dot stem with a flag on it, a single flag. So we have a whole note, a half note, a quarter note, and an eighth note. Okay. Let's go back to our time signature now. We need four beats in the measure. Four beats in each one of these measures. Okay? We need a quarter note as the beat. What are we looking for? That's a whole note. That's not what we want. That's a half note. That's not what we want. Ah, the quarter note. So, in 4-4 four, four time, if I put four quarter notes in here, We now have four beats in that measure. If we were to clap it, it would be one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now, here's where a little bit of math comes in. You don't go through music with just four quarter notes because it's four, four time. You put in there the total of four quarter notes. So if I were to put two quarters together, you would come up with a half. So think back to your pizza. Think back to your pizza. If you have four quarters to make the whole pizza, and you put two of those quarters together, that's half the pizza. So you would need a half note. That would equal two quarters. So now if I come over here, the same amount of time would be two half notes together equaling four quarter notes. Those two half notes equal the same amount of time right here. Now, how would we count something like that? Well, we already counted this real easy. One, two, three, four. Over here, same amount of time, same beat count, but the rhythm is different. This will take up, this note right here will take up beats one and two, and this one will take up beats three and four. So as time goes on, I will clap the beat, but I will count what's on the board. Here we go, I'll start here. And clapping, getting a beat down, here we go. One, two, three, four, one. Three. Notice the beat didn't change, but the counting changed to create the rhythm that's on the board. Lastly, if we put a whole note in there, that's one note that will take up all four beats. One, two, three, four. So if I go across this board now, I'll clap the beat, but I will count the rhythm. Here we go. Here's your beat. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Let me do that again to make it a little more clear. I'll start with a the beat, then we'll start here. 
one, two, three, four, one, three, one. Done. Very simple. Very simple. Now, I'm going to go on and I'm going to create a rhythm. So I will be right back and we will discuss it. All right, we're back. I've created a rhythm based on quarter notes, half notes, and whole notes. Here we go. I'm gonna count, I'm gonna clap it, I'm gonna count it, then I'm gonna write the, uh, the numbers underneath in a moment. But here's how this rhythm would play out. Again, I will clap the beat, but I will count the rhythm. So here we go. Get ready. And here we go. One, two, three, one, one, three, four, one, two, four. Here we go. Let me put the uh, numbers underneath so you can see it a little bit better. I'm going to do this one in red. Beat one, beat two, three through four. Whole note now. One through two through three through four. Next, half note, one through two, then we finish it up with three and four. Notice, not three through four, three and four. Last measure, one, two through three, and a four. And as you notice, when I counted it and clapped it, the clapping doesn't stop. There's all, this keeps going. And there's always four beats in a measure. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. But what we play against this, using this as our guide, can change. So one more time, I'm going to go all the way through this. I'm going to clap it, and we're going to count the rhythm. You see the numbers underneath. Here we go. Ready? Go. One, two, three. One. One, three, four, one, two, four. So there you have it, the basics, the very basics of reading. In the comments section below, tell me, do you read? Don't you read and why? Do you find it, do you find it a little scary? Do you look at it and you go, that's a whole nother language, because actually it is, but it's not that deep as an actual vocal language. So put that in the comment section below. Also, if you're getting something out of this video, hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button, it really does help me out. Also hit that bell icon so you don't miss any more content. And until the next time, oh, before I forget, check out these couple of videos right here. <laughs> Go check out some more of my stuff. And until the next time, take care everybody.